So Gabby, this week we are talking about trash talking Ooh. and the dark arts in Premier League games. And to start off, I want to ask you, who was some of the worst players on the on and off the pitch when it came to trash talking? Who was getting your head a bit rent free? Um, I think Joey Barton was one on, on the pitch. He was a trash talker. Um, Vidic as well, sometimes trash talker. Yeah, but there, there's quite a few. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I feel like... Um, from previous players I spoke with, like Robbie Savage was one that wound a lot of players up, but mm. Joey Barton, he yeah, was one of the worst. Yeah, he ones. was one that was always chirpy, and um, Adam Lallana as well. Really? Not, not really to me, but he to seems te- like a, the boy next yeah, door to, sort of yeah, thing, doesn't he? To, to teammates, he was, but mm. um, it's, it's the dark art. It's like what you do: you try and get in someone's head, get mm. them to foul you, get yeah. sent off. It's all about playing the game. That's the thing with the dark arts. Is it more vocal? Are they like swearing a little yeah, bit? Yeah, vocal. Calling you out, or are like, they like nibbling? And... It's vocal. And then like, there's got to be something personal that's out in the news for, for players. Mm. They'd use that against you. Mm. So you might have had a story and then they could like, use that against you. Really? Or hear something about a partner, use that against players. Yeah, it, it's pretty brutal on there. It's pretty brutal. And did you have any instances where, you know, you might have had a bit of a to and fro on the pitch and it's ended up, you know, carrying on in the tunnel near the changing rooms? Any stories like that? Well, you know what? Not not with me. I thought there's a bit with Joey Barton and, um, you know, he apologised afterwards. I didn't make um, a big fuss about it mm. on the pitch. It was, but it was my... I started it. I knew he was oh, going through go. that spell. You're the ringleader. Yeah, you know what? He was going through that spell at Newcastle where he was like, he was getting into a bit of trouble on the pitch and I thought, I'm going to target him. So I kept shoulder barging him. Mm. Like from behind and he was biting and we were having a bit on the pitch and stuff but it never really went in, into the tunnel you know he just didn't want the risk of getting sent off mm. and um, yeah he just he stayed on the pitch and he sorted out on there Was there any one of your like Aston Villa teammates as well who was either the instigator of these things or would get wound up easy and you had to say like come on calm down a bit you've got to keep your head in the game Um. For, not, not really the instigator, but the, I remember the once where Emil Heskey lost his head with um, Alcaraz. I remember he was a defender for Wigan, I think. Yeah, I'm yeah, I right, think, yeah. and he lost his head and he had to be held back. Really? Yeah. See, Heskey seems like quite a calm Michael guy, Richards really? um, lost his head with a player. I remember we played a game and it kicked off. So mm. there, there was a couple of incidents, but most of the time it was all like you know just little words jest. and. You know, people saying things. Bellamy was very chirpy to players and mm. try and put them off and wind them up and belittle them. Um, but, yeah, no, no big, big scenes. Yeah, and would you say, obviously you mentioned Joey Barton there, was there anyone who just really knew how to push your buttons at the, in an instance? Like, you were sitting there, you're like, this guy. He's really Steven good. Taylor. Steven uh, Taylor, uh, really? I played on the 21s with him, but he was just... He pinched me all the time really? on the pitch, yeah. Where bounce, if you don't want Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, not, not on the um, on the bum. Not, but he, <laughs> he, he'd pinch you back when he stood yeah. behind you. Um, in between your ribs, pinch you, the back of your mm. neck, and you're like, oh, just stop. But mm. back then, like, something that you didn't really see on the cameras and mm. got away with it, but he'd wind you up. But the next day, you're close to stamping got, on him. And yeah, got you're close to just stamping back on him, yeah. and you like, you do that, you're the one's going to get red carded. Yeah. So you try and run away from him, that's what he wanted. To get you get you away from him by pinching you, so he's annoying. And you mentioned pinching there. Is there any other techniques, dark arts, tactics? Step on people? your Achilles really? from the back, yeah. Big studs back there. You're just like st- stood next to you. Mm. Just, just put your foot down there, Achilles. Mm. Nothing bad that you could get caught, but the refs aren't going to see that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and the studs are that big sometimes, especially when I played. That like, I mean, it's cut you, mm. but foot bleeding. <clears throat> But like, do it without the referee seeing. Mm. A little knee, a little knee in the, in, in the hamstring when the ref's not looking. All these little VAR things. VAR back like, then would have oh, been a field day. A field day with mm. red cards all over the all over the place. Going for a head out, little elbows and you know, in the face. But the, the defenders done it back then because they wanted to make it horrible for you. Mm. Like a cold winter's game. Mm. They wanted to make it horrible for you. Yeah. So that you didn't want to come near him. Your feet were cold already mm. from the weather. Yeah. You had frostbite already from the weather. They stamp on your toes to make it worse. And finally, we're going to have a bit of a confession here. What were some of the things you used to do? Come on, be honest. What What did you like to do? What, how did you used to like a wind player up? You know what I used to do? I used to wait for a defender to be running towards the ball and especially if they were close to the touchline. 
and those shoulder bars to the fans advertising boards. <laughs> so you know when they're about to clear it and they're yeah, by yeah. the touchline. And they're a bit would, uneven on their feet. Yeah, they're a little bit off balance because they're clearing it. I'd hit them afterwards. Yeah. So I used to get a lot. I've got, I've got a lot of booking to my career mm. for them sort of tackles and they'd go flying into the advertising boards and the fans nowadays. would like rise and applaud because mm. they like it. They like violence, don't they, the fans? Mm. They like <laughs> they like them sort of tackles. Always late tackles as well. Yeah. They're never going to be reds, but... Yellow. I remember getting a ban under McLeish for five yellows. Not Nicholas Jackson's got yeah. for um <laughs> for um Chelsea. I got a ban under um, McLeish for five bookings. You wouldn't last nowadays with all the no, going up to refs and all that. No, I know. Well. I just yeah, shouting at the refs and <laughs> but I just I don't know. I just like tackling. I like mm. kicking people. <laughs> for a centre forward, honestly, I love kicking people. <laughs> like, I remember smashing Danny Rose, my mm. mate. I just love kicking people and you know trying to get a response from the defenders so they kick me and then they'd get sent off maybe. 